What's up guys, from the BC, starting something new, we're calling it Market Mondays. We're just gonna take a look at the markets, look at the crypto markets, see what's going on. It's gonna be a short little video uh, if you do enjoy on Monday. Tomorrow we'll get to Algorand news, but today we're gonna look at the markets. So let's get right into it because we're seeing some uh, a little bit of upswings after uh, after a downswing, so it's always nice to see. And uh, let's just get into it, guys. By the way, guys, if you like these kind of videos, if you like this new format, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate that a lot. Remember, you don't have to smash it. You can just press it gently. And uh, since this is not an Algorand video, I just want to give a really quick shout out to our sponsors, Non-Fungible Domains and Fractal Monsters. You can find links for both of those in the description below. But let's get to this video. Let's look right at the markets here. Uh, you can see we're in a little bit of an upswing. We've been in neutral territory on the fear and greed index for a little while now which I think is really really interesting and for a long time we were in this uh, we were in this greed territory when things were pumping up and we got to remember you know uh, Bitcoin's still at 63,000 that's not bad we're pretty close to the all-time high a little bit of far as far away and uh, we're up 2.6 percent so on the 24 hour doing pretty good still kind of neutral on the seven day ethereum kind of looking right around that three three thousand dollar range staying kind of flat BNB just rounding out the top five here. Obviously, Tether is always pretty close to a dollar because uh, it's a dollar token. But BNB kind of flat on the week. And then Solana kind of pumping up a little bit on the 24 hour, but still kind of down on the week. So let's see what the top gainers were. Dog with hat and bonk. And Shiba Inu is something uh, something going on here. What is what is the connection they all have? They all seem to pretty. I don't know a lot about Floki to be honest, but these I'm pretty sure all of these are meme coins. And it illustrates something I say: don't don't uh, you know don't write off the meme coins. They tend to they tend to blow up. I I don't really know. I still don't really understand it. I think crypto is a lot about crypto prices is a lot about vibes, and uh, that's the only that's the only thing that's the only thesis I've seen that really seems to seems to work out. Because everything else I hear about you know news the news just doesn't really seem to affect it used to i think it used to but news just doesn't seem to really affect like these partnership announcements and things you know we had that h bar thing a while back and it actually did uh actually did spring up on the news and it was kind of unusual because otherwise we hadn't really seen much action that way so uh yeah don't underestimate the meme coins um seriously like it seemed they seem stupid but that's what uh, that's what tends to pump. But they'll crash a lot too. Uh, on the downswing, we got Pendle, Athena, and Wormhole. Pendle down almost eight percent. This is the twenty-four hour again, followed by Caspa down there and Core uh, Synthetics down there too. So those are the ones that lost the most. And then what about on the week? Well, on the week we got Pepe uh, leading the top again, followed by Toncoin. So Toncoin's had a really good week. Uh, followed by Render. Render is a really cool uh, project, by the way. I've been kind of looking into it, so you can actually rent out uh space on your gpu and earn something for it don't know a ton about how that works but it seems like really cool uh and then yeah akash network and then aioz and thorchain so some very interesting stuff on the weekly charts and i know a lot of you in my community are here for algorand algorand uh Kind of fell to 17 cents, climbing back up to 18 cents now. So it's uh, kind of working its way back up. But I know pretty frustrating for people in Algorand. It was up pretty high. Uh, not doing so hot now. What's it going to show us? Something? <laughs> it's interesting to look at the the market cap of all crypto because you can see we had, uh, we still haven't hit. We really haven't hit the peak market cap of, uh, what was it, 2.8? Yeah, we're at like 2.5 at a peak. So we actually got a long ways to go. A real, real bull run should look and it should, should hit like, you know, more like three and a half trillion or higher I would think just based on what it's done before now again I've said this a bunch of times you know there's a lot of people that thought this peak should have been higher um but we'll see what we'll see what happens uh you know I think we got cut off Bitcoin got cut off around uh was about 68 last time and we, hit we actually increased that we we're over 70 so it was nice to see very briefly but I think that's the mini bull I think we're gonna have a big bull coming up for Bitcoin in a few probably a couple months and then we'll see all coins really surge maybe at the end of probably closer to fall fall maybe early winter but that'll take a little while and we got to be patient so because uh and, and it might not happen that's the thing like none of this is guaranteed i think we all thought bitcoin was going to go up a lot higher based on the charts last bull run it didn't happen it did have a pretty good altcoin surge but you know it's uh i think i think as it's getting the the situation is getting more complicated as more institutional investors get involved the etfs start going live that means it becomes uh it starts to stabilize a little more of a stabilized means you don't get these huge big huge pump so uh we'll see what happens it's nice to see things turning around a little bit uh good to see that on the charts 
Always good to see. Um, uh, I think that's it for... Oh, I did want to show you one other thing, actually. Hold on one second. Okay, this was from Alex uh, France.algo. It says, can you guess which chains are the most active in terms of process transactions over the last 24 hours? Here's the top. This is as of May 12th, so it's a day old, but uh, this is what we got going on here. We got Hedera as the king of transactions by top chains. Uh, by the way, Hedera was almost included in the Forbes zombie chain article. This is the this is the chain with the most transactions in a 24 hour period. That's the zombie. This is how this is how stupid that list was. Uh, with 139,000, uh, that's that's quite a bit more than Solana, which apparently is not a zombie chain. And I don't I don't think Solana is a zombie chain either. By the way, just to be clear, but. The fact that Hedera was included, or almost included in that, apparently they talked, supposedly they reached out to Hedera and heard something from them and decided not to include them. They didn't, supposedly didn't hear back from the other ones. Um, and there was some, now we're using different, um, you can see we're using different ways of uh, collecting this data. So it's not all from the same data source. So it's an important thing to keep in mind, I think. But look at the, look at the transactions on Ethereum compared to the other ones. So we got Hedera, is doing 139, almost 140,000, probably less, probably more like 138, 155. Uh, that many times transactions per day. Solana's doing like 31,000 more. Again, I'm ballparking. Ethereum, Sui is doing like 9,000. Sui is number three. I really, Sui is brand new, by the way. Sui is coming, Sui is like a year old. Maybe just a little over a year old. Yeah, really kicking butt. I mean, it's just a great, I love some of the stuff they're doing on there. They're trying to make crypto more usable for most people, like having a ZK login where you use your socials to log in with your wallets instead of, you know, instead of those really complicated uh, crypto logins. And Nier doing really well too. Nier's had a lot of transactions, followed by Algorand. Number five, so uh, Algorand, I don't remember if Nier was, Algorand was on the dead chain list. I think Stellar was too at 5,000. Here's my point. Like if these, if these chains are being used, then they're not, they're not zombie. How do you call them zombie chains? Just doesn't make any sense. Then we got Poly Polygon, you know, layer two on top of Ethereum at 37, almost 3,700 BSC. Polkadot, Base, Arbitrum. You know, I don't even see, uh, Avalanche is less than a thousand. So I'm I'm amazed at some of the blockchains that have left Algorand for, or some of the programs that have left Algorand for Avalanche. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, but I think this list is really telling. The fact that we have Hedera, Solana, Swede, Nier, and Algorand in the top five. And of these, Solana and Nier are the ones that have really pumped a lot. You know, we see good price action with Nier. We see good price action with Solana. Sui's been okay. Hedera's been eh. And you know, Algorand's really been pretty bad to be honest. Hedera, you know, and I, I haven't analyzed these recently, but when I did that a couple of months ago, Hedera was one of the worst. Algorand was the worst of the top 100, except for one chain. Do you know what that chain was? It was Gala. <laughs> Gala was the absolute worst. Uh, Gala had even worse price action than Algorand, but and that might've changed. I know Gala's been going up in price a little bit, but that's what we're, that's what we're dealing with here, guys. You know, you, you just notice like, where's, uh, Where's all the where's all the meme coins? Where's their transactions? They're not on. Maybe they weren't included, but I have a feeling that they just weren't. They just weren't part of this. So anyway, oh, is that a million? Oh, okay. Well, no, oh, okay. I, I was reading all. Okay. <laughs> they used periods instead of commas, and that really threw it off. So all my numbers are way off. I apologize. Uh, this is 140 million. <laughs> Lana is 31 million, etc. So. Okay, so everything I said is correct in terms of scale, but off by a factor of a thousand. So just add a factor of a thousand to everything I said. Okay, well, hit that like and subscribe button. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Well, you know, that's what, uh, that's what, uh, that's what it's all about. You know, sometimes you, you make mistakes while you're uh, recording these things. But the point still stands, you know, these are still the top five. And so, so this is getting almost 6 million transactions in 24 hours. And it's, this is somehow a zombie chain. I don't, I really don't understand that, but okay. Um, anyway, good to see. You. And uh, all right, well, that's it for uh, this week. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know, give me some feedback. You like this kind of thing? Market, you like this Market Mondays? You don't hate it? Um, got suggestions for it? You wanna, you wanna see it improve? Uh, give me some ideas, things you'd like to see. Uh, I just thought it'd be a cool way to look at some different ch chains that we don't normally talk about other than maybe our lives and give you some insight. And I, I like this little, uh, I might try to add some more metrics like this, like we've got here with these uh, transactions over the last 24 hours. I think that's really interesting, but uh, yeah. Yeah, let me know in the comment below and otherwise I'm frugal BC stay safe out there guys and I will see you in the future